Hello, I'm Mike Kilalia with IEDC and drillingcontractor.org, and I'm here in Dubai at the 2015 IEDC SPE Managed Pressure Drilling and Underbalanced Operations Conference. I'm here with Blaine Dow of MI Swaco, and we're pleased that MI Swaco has chosen this forum to unveil some new, a new family of products. So Blaine, thanks for spending some time with us today. Can you uh, tell us about what MI Swaco is uh, offering the industry now? Sure, sure Mike. Uh, so this is a, a very big year for us. We've uh, looked back in history and realized that uh, MI's journey into managed pressure and underbalanced drilling as a segment uh, we were we compiled a, a group of companies over the past four years to build a strong technical offering and um, along that journey one of the key uh, key companies that had joined us was a mm -hmm. company called at balance and at balance the the strength of that brand was uh, very well regarded in uh, our small community of MPD and UBD experts and I kept hearing quite often where is at balance gone so it's a, it's a very difficult thing when you have a lot of companies coming together to preserve um, you know, what people remember the best about the organization. So what we've decided to do is we had some new products that we're launching in 2015 and rather than uh, confuse the market with the name of what used to be a company, we've resurrected the At Balance brand as a family of products and services offering. So that's what we're doing here this year. Um, the the uh, family consists of six key things. And uh, really, um, our drive is to make MPD more accessible to the marketplace. So there's a couple of different ways that, uh, that you can do that. But the, the key reason why we want to do that is because MPD seems to be a difficult technology for a lot of operators to pick up. They're always looking for, well, is it, is it really something that I need on my well? And I'll try different applications so, and, and see if I can resolve my problem that way before they finally resort to MPD. So we want to do something that's going to allow them to not have to, you know, make that kind of uh, that kind of deferred commitment to to the technology. So accessing the rigs is a key thing. Uh, we're doing that in uh, two key ways. One is through a, uh, a fully integrated MPD skid that's highly mobile, so it will get to and from the well site quickly, and we can rig in and rig out very fast. So the operator is now paying to have the services executed on their well instead of a lot of money that gets spent on the rig in time. There's a lot of people that generally go with that and it takes a lot of time. So that also helps us because it keeps our efficiency of, of uh, equipment utilization very high as well. So the bottom line is it's beneficial for the client because they, they get more value for the money that they spend for the service and it's beneficial for us because we can keep those assets a lot more active. The second thing that we're looking at is enabling rigs to have MPD equipment already embedded in it. And um, we call this at balance rig. So we're looking at, um, at selling rotating heads to drilling contractors and putting MPD equipment already in place and training the drilling contractor to be able to run the system themselves for fairly simple benign MPD applications. And then when the application gets a little bit more complex and it requires some engineering support, our organization is there to be able to support them through, uh, through that, type of, uh, that type of project. So in order to be able to do those two key things, both at balance and exp express and uh, at balance rig, it's important that we have a control system that is tiered where we can have um, a, not necessarily an expert learn how to run it and handle the benign environments, but be able to tear up and, and use on the same technology platform the ability to, to uh, apply enhanced MPD services when it, it's truly a critical well. So we've launched uh, this, this new tiered package is built on top of the uh, legacy at balance control system called DAPC. And uh, what it is, is uh, there's, there's two tiers. One's called E-Balance, it stands for efficiency, and it's a simple trapping mechanism. Um, the MPD system will, will close in the energy in the well with a simple five-point ramp that gets designed in, in a hydraulics program before you start the well, or you can figure out the, uh, the complexity of the well as you go, and you can just manually adjust it. That's aimed at um, 
may be operators at the, at the well site using it, but our key target is to enable the driller to be able to use it from his drilling chair. Um, and then when the, uh, the well gets a little bit more complex, we can show up and uh, enhance that particular, uh, that particular software with iBalance for Intelligent. And the, uh, the iBalance uh, system has an onboard hydraulics calculator similar to the legacy DAPC system. Um, it also has a, uh, some algorithms inside that will allow the, the MPD system to do automated rollover schedules, that sort of thing. But the key feature of both eBalance and iBalance is we've got enhanced choke control that no longer requires a, a back pressure pump, which was a, a key differentiator for DAPC, but now we're able to do through technology replace that the need for that back pressure pump. So if you consider on a, on a uh, rig site, no longer having a back pressure pump means I don't have to plug into the, the uh, rig's fluid system and I don't have to have people at the well site to maintain that uh, back pressure pump. And quite often we're power limited so we end up sending a, um, a generator to the well site as well. So the footprint that we have at the well site now has dramatically reduced. Uh, the complexity of the service has dramatically reduced and the performance has not been compromised. So those are the, those are the key aspects of the technology that we've cultivated. The fifth item of the AppBalance family is AppBalance Deepwater. We're very proud to say that uh, this year we've had our first field trial of an 18 and 3 quarter inch above tension ring rotating head and by the third quarter of 2015 we'll have a below tension ring rotating head. This has been a, a, a key gap in our technology portfolio, and now that we've closed that gap, we are truly able to go and handle those deep water floating, uh, floating rigs. So all of the other technology that exists inside of the App Balance family applies on top of this rotating head uh, fleet now, and we've got an offering to take to deep water. We're very proud about that. Um, the very last thing that I'd like to talk about, uh, uh, the, the sixth item of the At Balance family, is At Balance Well Engineering. So I'm the drilling engineering manager in my organization as well as marketing and technology. And uh, one of the key things that, that we've noticed is understanding how MPD can really impact the performance of the well is quite critical. There's a lot of drilling engineering required to, uh, to design the well properly and then monitor during execution and make sure that it's, uh, it comes off uh, well. So um, Schlumberger has, has uh, developed a, a training and development program for fresh out engineers to come up through the MPD organization and uh, learn key skills much like other uh, strong segments inside of Schlumberger. Likewise we've done the same thing inside of uh, our organization. So we're reaching a point of, uh, of having a, a lot of highly skilled engineers in my organization that are now able to offer consulting services. So maybe it's not going to be us that are running the equipment, but we're certainly interested in helping operators understand how to best execute their MPD service mm -hmm. and make sure that it comes off perfectly for them. Okay. So that's, that's the App Balance family. That's quite a bit. It's <laughs> a uh, broad suite of uh, services for, for uh, an evolving and increasingly important MPD industry. Uh, I thought it's interesting you're touching on the training because we see a lot of papers here at the event that uh, focus also on the training as a very important part of their programs. But MPD seems to be accelerating and Blaine, where do you see the biggest opportunities uh, for managed pressure drilling down the road? Sure, so, uh, so one thing that uh, we've seen, um, the unconventional drilling uh, in uh, North America has, has really brought MPD to uh, you know to the forefront and a lot of operators are able to reduce their mud weight and drill much faster and higher performance wells uh, and then the productivity of the wells is, is much better when they they start to uh, bring them online um, and as everybody knows uh, unconventional plays exist everywhere in the world so um, we see opportunity to expand the uh, the knowledge that people have gained in North America with uh, with MPD and uh, take that elsewhere in the world. Um, the second place, obviously, is is deep water. Now, the value proposition in deep water is uh, is often focused on safety, and without a doubt, uh, a closed annulus is is a very very good thing to have on deep water projects. But the other thing that a closed annulus gives you is it allows you to contain the the flex of your of your annulus when you see these ballooning and breathing events 
a lot of non-productive time is spent uh, trying to decipher whether it's a ballooning and breathing event or with if the well is actually in a state of, of influx. And that amounts to massive amounts of non-productive time. So if you can just eliminate the ballooning breathing problems that operators face in deep water, I think we're, we're really seeing an opportunity for MPD to do what the industry needs right now and, and drive costs down so operators don't have to suffer the burden of, of these high exposure uh, budgets on their projects. Okay. Very interesting. So um, and we have seen a number of papers here too, Blaine, that uh, operators have basically reached their wits end with, uh, with conventional solutions for some of these difficult wells and adopted MPD uh, to replace that. So um, MPD pioneers and indeed our IDC Managed Pressure Drilling and Underbalanced Operations Committee has for a number of years been persuading the industry of the value of MPD. Seems to be accelerating now at last. And uh, do you believe, Blaine, that uh, MPD will soon become the uh, new standard in drilling? And if so, when will that happen? I guess uh, when I started in this uh, in this MPD uh, segment, I'm I'm relatively new to it compared to my uh, my seasoned colleagues. Um, I've been in this uh, the MPD UBD business for the past four years. Prior to that, I was in the directional drilling business, and I happened to be a directional driller in the field when rotary steerables really started to come on the market. In fact. I was on a rig where you know we we actually ran one of the very first in the industry, and today most wells are drilled with rotary steerable systems. The wells that are not are the exception. When I joined the MPD world, I figured that we're going to see that kind of uptake, and it's going to be uh, the exception wells that are drilled without MPD. We're not quite there yet, but uh, one of the key reasons why I think is because the equipment piece is. Uh, is something that truly belongs integrated into the rig and uh, our philosophy is MPD is the next top drive basically so it's not going to be a, a mobile service anymore top drives when they first came out you actually ordered them and they brought them out and and uh, hooked them up to the rig so now every rig comes with a top drive I expect in the next five years every w rig will be MPD enabled in some form or fashion that's when you're going to see the, the big uptake and the true, uh, the true benefits that uh, a closed annulus can bring to uh, performance and safety. Thanks again for your time, Blaine. I really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you for tuning into this webcast. So long from Dubai. I'm Mike Kilalea, IDC, drillingcontractor.org. And we'll see you next time.